today I have the pleasure of speaking with Don from Avalon Advanced Materials. How are you today, Don? Great. Good to see you again. Don, let's just start with the big breaking news. Shareholders have responded very favorably to the fact that you're going to be building Ontario's first regional lithium battery materials refinery in Thunder Bay. Let's just start there. Well, we've always recognized that that was the key step to be able to start these supply chains here is establishing the midstream processing capacity. And we always felt that it should be designed to be able to accept concentrates from other emerging new producers. So you can turn it into kind of a growth business going forward, because it's no doubt going to grow in terms of demand for, for lithium hydroxide and the forms used in lithium batteries going forward as the demand for electric vehicles uh, grows. And the circumstances now are perfect because of the Ontario government announcing their support for attracting the manufacturers to come to the province. And of course, they told them that they'll help create this critical material supply chains to provide the materials they need for their new products. So we Producing this battery materials is one of the first key steps to make sure that they're going to be able to live up to their promises to make sure these new manufacturers can access the materials they need here in the province. And it's a great plan because it's a win-win-win for the whole province now in terms of the economic development in the south with the new manufacturing and the north being able to take advantage of all the critical minerals resources that are there and have never been developed. As you know, I've been trying to do that for 25 years. <laughs> well, I was just about to point out that Jack Lifton recently did a cover story that said, sell the farm and go into lithium. So you're there. And of course, you've always been a leader in education with regards to critical materials over the last several decades. So next to a poster of right time right place you put out this news and then the government of ontario announces a 4.98 billion dollar you know uh investment in the development of the supply chain for battery materials i don't even know where to start can you comment on this please well we knew that it was gonna come didn't know exactly when so we've been working on trying to find that um, strategic investing partner and someone interested in committing for the offtake on the battery material product, because that was always the key step in order to be able to justify accessing the capital to create the facility to produce those materials. So finally, we found an investing partner to join us uh, that was introduced to us by a government agency, Invest in Canada. And um, that's got the ball rolling for us now. They're very interested. We're now working out the final details on the next steps here. But in the meantime, since we've got it disclosed now, we are going to establish this facility. We're getting more and more expressions of interest from battery manufacturers on offtake for the, uh, for the products. So all coming together nicely now. Takes time. And you can't put out news every day, unfortunately. Usually you're under some kind of confidentiality agreement when you're talking to companies you wanna do business with, but everything's moving in the right direction now. So Don, in addition to the partnership and in addition to the extraordinary news that the Ontario government put out making us really a global leader, the federal government came out with an announcement which also seems to say we're all standing behind Avalon Advanced Materials. Can you tell investors out there what I mean by this? Well, they've been listening now too. I've been trying to communicate the messages to government, both federally and provincially on the next steps needed to get these supply chains started. And they're now recognizing what those next steps are and, and starting to implement strategies to help encourage more investment in this sector on all the steps needed to create the full supply chains going forward. And it's very important that governments show its willingness to provide some support for this going forward too, in order for it to attract more investment interest from other international investors that may wanna take advantage 
of our critical minerals wealth here in Canada. So by indicating in the budget, they're prepared to support creating these supply chains, that's sending that very positive message to uh, manufacturers generally and international investors. Well, speaking of that, you were just telling me at the onset of this interview that you just spoke at the benchmark conference. Is that correct? Yeah, they held their first live in person world tour event in Toronto there yesterday. And so the obvious question for everyone out there that's looking at this news and going, wow, this this is indeed exciting is really what's next on what should we anticipate as shareholders next, say, in the next quarter or two? Well, we're going to get going uh, right away on our uh, feasibility study work, <clears throat> both for the refinery. In fact, I'm heading to Thunder Bay tomorrow to review a few more potential sites for it. There are quite a few locations that could meet our needs there. So I'm going to go have another look and talk to some people in the municipal government there on the process to move forward, get, get everything started there. And in the meantime, do the same thing at our Separation Rapids project site. And there I want to actually, um, we recovered a bulk sample from that <laughs> resource there last year. Couldn't find a place to get it processed quickly, but we're now in the process of acquiring our own demo scale DMS facility. So we can do it ourselves to produce some trial quantities of the pedalite lithium mineral concentrates that can then be used for further process test work on our battery materials flow sheet. So we can finalize that. But also we still have a lot of interest from international glass ceramic manufacturers in using the pedalite for their innovative new high strength glass products. And that door is wide open for us now because um, Lithium carbonate prices, which they've been using as an alternative, have gone through the roof. So now they're looking for other alternatives. And um, we can produce pedalite concentrates at a relatively uh, modest cost from this bulk sample and hopefully get the whole ball rolling on uh, being able to serve that market internationally as well as the battery materials market going forward. Well, Don, just allow me to be part of the entourage all going way to go, way to go to you and the team of Avalon Advanced Materials. And of course, we've watched you for years, members of your board, investing in education, advisory boards, uh, bringing us all up to speed on the issues uh, that have compounded actually over the last uh, decade on our need for supply chain for these EV materials or, and or critical materials such as lithium. Thank you so much, Don, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Good to see you.